not screwing up the legend, falls on the shoulders of just one man, Dave Perisak. He's probably gonna hit me for saying this, but he's a little nuts. Then there are just the dudes who wanna build the car that they wanted to have when they were 25 years old, doing burnouts in front of the police station to drive everyone crazy. That's Dave. Parasak has led Team Mustang since 2008 and is the fifth chief engineer for the Pony Car platform. I think uh, everybody waits for the day that you get the call to be the next guy for Mustang. It was almost surreal. It was almost something that I didn't believe was happening, but uh, it was definitely a dream come true. A dream come true that has a major deadline. and just 1,460 days to get it done. Knowing the 50th anniversary is coming up, the planning started, and so I've been here since day one on the, on the planning of the Gen 6 Mustang. Lots of cars are billed as groundbreaking machines. The sixth generation actually could be. It's the first Stang planned to be a global platform. We decided early on to take it global. It's a dedication that we were going to make to the brand and to the company. The world's been ready for us. They wanted Mustang for a long time. The world is watching this car, so just laying awake at night and thinking, you know, did we get that right? Do we need to do more of this? You know, do we have to change this? Planning the new machine starts with a single team meeting. The first meeting is realizing uh, what are the goals, what are we trying to achieve with it. Yeah. I want to make sure that everything will be available at the dealership before the cars arrive.